Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to Freebie Fry Yay. So <laughs> we have a envelope and a another item on today's Freebie Fry Yay. Okay, I've already cut mine out, so let's go ahead and pull those out. So I have an envelope. And with the two adorable children and this um, antique, it's a calling card. And so with their imperfections as they are over a hundred years old. Then on this one, we have our ice coupon and our little um, doll. And I've brought in the copper I, I love this piece, so I like to bring that in when I can. You're going to notice there's no actual Christmas on these. Um, so these can be used for birthdays, for Valentine's Day, for any of your patriotic holidays. Um, and that was on purpose. And But today we're going to be making two embellishments out of these for my November... Um, challenge. Remember, I need to make 60 embellishments, all different. Now, today I'm going to show you how I'm going to take an embellishment that we've already done, but I'm going to do it different and it counts. Okay. So just um, wanting to clear that up. I also, um, we have a new Patreon um, Kathy. So I added a new Patreon gift to the Patreon and it is called Pale. And I think it's kind of cool because it's really light. So um, putting this over, um, you know, another light page, you would be able to use all of these, I believe, as um, journaling spaces. Plus, I just think that they're fun because they're, they're different. So we're calling this one Pale. And I did also print off the um, one in green. So welcome back, Kathy, to the Dear Julie Julie Patreon. And um, patrons, you will find all of the Patreon colors. Um, I put up a post when I put this post up. You got all of the colors. So, um, yeah. So they're easy, easy to grab today. <laughs> Um, again, the Patreon is a subscription-based um, way to support this channel, and they are receiving lots of fun goodies. They've gotten several of the smaller digital kits. They've gotten the whole kit. Um, they also get digitals and other, um, depending on their tier, uh, they'll get other things as well. And I'm working on Zoom, possibly for the beginning, for the first of the year. And um, that will probably be for the higher tiers. But if you are any Patreon between now and the end of the year, you'll be grandfathered into the Zoom. Okay, so all Patreons as of right now are grandfathered into the Zoom while you're a Patreon. And then after that, it will be a diamond and emerald Patreon um, perk. Okay, so there, woohoo, I'm going to be using those um, this month. So wanted to, to get those um, to show you. So we still have the little goodie that we were working on yesterday. And so we are going to put that aside. <laughs> we're going to put that aside and we're going to pull out something that I need it to be a little bit substantial. So it needs to be, you know, a thicker paper like this and I'm thinking one that's kind of plain because we're going to be adding something that is quite beautiful. We're going to put this on the top because if we have time we'll come back to that. Okay so we're going to go ahead and 
fold this together, you'll see that there are fold lines. Okay, so you're going to be able to see your fold lines for your envelope. And I thought it was fun to do the red and white. So many things that you can use red and white for if you're doing like circus, um, again, birthdays, Valentine's Day. 4th of July. Okay. Or Christmas. And so this is going into my little mini Christmas journal here. Uh, remember that um, today is the handmade market and I will be there um, selling what I've got made and um yeah, so also if you are a diamond or emerald Patreon, you'll have coupon codes that you'll be able to use to purchase from me. Okay, so there we go. I have my envelope put together and it is ready. So we've already done a double tuck. Okay, so we did this one where it's added to the page and this is a flippy flop page in the middle of the journal. Well, this time we are gonna take our page. Okay, so this was from the inside of, of a book page. And we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab and add it like this, okay? So our our double tuck part is going to be on this side and then you'll flip it over and this is going to give us a flip page, okay? So yes, that is different. It is different than the other one that we did. And um, so yes, you can have more than one double tuck in your um, journal. Remember we're making 60 embellishments this time because Julie is turning 60 this month. It is my birthday month, so our challenge, we are making 60 embellishments. The cool thing is we get to use anything in our stash. We do have some required things that we have to use and a few required things that we have to make. But for the most part, you get to choose what you're using and you get to choose what 60 you're making. Um, we have a details video that explains all of the details for that challenge, and it's in the description box down below. Okay, so um, we're going to need to add three things to our double tuck. Um, but while I've got this, I'm going to go ahead and I have this uh, adorable little piece of fabric that was in Sally's Sally's stuff. And I'm gonna add a pocket back here, okay? So now this pocket is going to be separate, but I'm trying, there's glue here. So that's why I'm putting this in like right now. This is not one of gonna be one of my three things that I'm adding. I'm actually gonna make a pocket. <laughs> but um, I, have a pro I have a problem here. Houston. So this is adorable, adorable fabric right here. And Tom's family um, used to make ornaments for the family every, every year. Something and um, to exchange at the Christmas gathering. And I think one of our ornament things has this fabric on it, as a matter of fact. Now they do the, um, the stealing exchange gift and it's, it's an ornament 
exchange is what they do now, but it used to be that everybody made something. Okay, I just really wanted to make sure that this glue was covered. <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some more glue because you know, I wanna make sure it stays. I have not tried this with fabric, but it seems to be, I mean, it took to that, um, that fabric right there, it took to the glue, like amazing. Okay, so now when, when I put down fabric, I want to pull it apart and get it as tight as I can. So this is going to be a pocket, okay? And we'll have to come back and add our three items to that. But like I said, I wanted to get this glue part here taken care of. So let's come back to our double tuck. And of course, this, envel this envelope can just be an envelope. You can just put a card in it, make a card to fit. Um, I think that that would be, be great. So I have... Um, some sticker. Whoa. Wow. There goes my stamps. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. But I have some stickers and I think, I think the stroller will fit on there. Yeah. Okay. So adding a sticker as my first thing. I'm going to use those antique toy stickers. I think that they'll be fun to use in, in here. And then I'm going to add something else. What should we add? Well, we can, uh, we can try this. We can try this. We've got happiness. Whoa. That scared me. I don't know why it moved. <laughs> oh, how about the big joy, okay? So the other day, we were really having trouble with these. And then I came back and I used my fingernail and I had no trouble at all. which is one of the things I've found with the Dollar Tree robots. I love the Dollar Tree robots. Especially now that I know that some of them are stickers, um, they are robots, but they are a sticky robot. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so fingernail, that's the ticket. It actually changed color Okay, the Y is not going down. Why? Let's see if we can get, there we go. Oh no. Okay, well. I'm going to use this one because it has the finest tip. If I can get the glue to the... Okay, there we go. Okay. Hmm. We're going to keep these bloopers in. Ah! That just came, like, right undone. I don't know where... There. I am 
very disappointed. I, um, I have been using rub-ons forever, okay? Um, I have never had this happen before. Well, yep, disappointing. Okay, so I think we'll go ahead and we'll add a flower on top of that. Okay. And we'll use the fabric tack because it will hold the fabric flower. And it can go towards the edge because this is on the edge of the journal. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the other one off. Okay. So we added a rub on, we added a flower and we added a sticker and um, we'll probably add a little bit of bling to the center of our flower. Yeah. That is probably the right color, but I think we'll go ahead and go with this star. Okay, and then I don't, I haven't, I haven't found where I put my holly leaf um, yet. So we'll just give this a little. I bought green flowers so that I could use them as petals. So there we go. I've got, we'll add a couple petals. So this is my double tuck. It's a different kind. Remember the other one we put in the, um, the center of the page and it will actually get bound into the journal. This one is on the edge of the page. Okay, so we've decorated this area and I think that is going to be really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Oh, wrong scissors. Yeah, if you have, since I've separated my scissors and I use these for the sticky things, game changer. Because then these cut paper. And I'm going to add my bling. Okay, so bling is one of the things that you have to add somewhere in your journal. I'm going to put it here because that'll be towards the outside. Okay, so there we go. I love that. Okay, so now we have already started a pocket here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my little eraser, blue eraser. Because we've got some glue sticking out the side here. I got this at Dollar Tree. It does work. I have another one somewhere from, you know, from years ago. But this one, they work, they work great. Okay, so we have our pocket. And I want to add some more things to it. But of course, I've already put it down. So I'm going to look for a piece of cellophane that I can... 
put here. Okay, so I'm just going to put that under there so that the, um, the lace, or the lace, now you know what I'm going to add, um, so that the glue doesn't go through and glue my pocket down. I am looking for my little lace. I had little tiny lace. Okay, well, I can't find it, so I guess we'll switch to, uh, from this pen. I'm slowly, the pen has died, so I'm slowly using the pieces off of the pen, so the pen can go to, um, where pins go when they, when they die. Um, this is from a wedding. It was from one of the daughter's weddings and from the guest book. And at the time she lived in Germany, so, um, she didn't take that with her and didn't want it. Now the pin doesn't work, so there we go. Okay. There we go. Look at there. So cute. Just adding that little bit of ribbon. Okay. And then we have these, um, I have these strips of words. They came from a Tim Holtz paper and I'm going to put the all is calm, all is bright. Okay. I think that'll be, be good. It's, um, not super, uh, doesn't, it could, it could still be anything could go on this page, even though it says all is, all is calm, all is bright, right? Okay. So we'll add that. So this is covering up this pocket right here. So what we'll be able to do is come in and open this pocket, which is really cool because I did apparently didn't fold straight. Okay, so that's going to give me a pocket here. And then I can go ahead and use my one inch circle punch, punch that out. Okay. Just make sure all of the, the things are done. We need to add another thing right here. And I think we can you know what? Let's see. I, you know, what if we go ahead and these were in Sally's stuff here. Okay. If we cut in so that we can pull out, I think we'll grab a green and a red. Green. And a red. Okay. And then we're going to tape that back over. Um, I'm going to grab. Whoa. <laughs> Things are falling. I've got to. <laughs> I've been doing been doing all the other stuff instead of putting things back away like they should be. That's okay. I'm going to grab just a little bulb pin and put these through the bulb pin. Okay. Put these little guys through the bulb pin. 
and then I'm just going to attach it. And I think the all is calm, all is bright. I think that's kind of fun to go with this. And there. Now we could um, make it so they go off the top, which might actually be a good idea. But I like that. I'm going to leave it. Okay. So we added ribbon. We added the words. And we added the little charm dangle. So that is our pocket with three items. And we have our envelope um, double tuck. Okay, so we're doing pretty good here. And so next I have, I have her. Okay, and I'm gonna make her into a, um, you know what, she could be a belly band. She can be a belly band. Uh, she's going to be a belly band, but she's going to be a flip over because this little piece, I don't want to waste it. So we will go ahead and flip that over. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and add glue here. And I don't know what's going to go over here yet, but that is... Okay, and I want this to um, to stay down really well, so I am going to add glue to this side, okay? And then I am going to add glue to the bottom of this. Okay, so we have a belly band. Now we need to add three things to the actual belly band. And so we want to, I want to kind of make it look, make it Christmas. So let's see, what do we've got? Um, White Christmas, St. Nick, Winter Wishes. <sighs> Santa Claus is coming to town. Frosty the First Noel. Frosty the Snowman. Peace on Earth, Star of Wonder. Got him. I have him from a, a lots of dashing through the snows. How about Joy to the World or Jingle Bells? Peace on Earth. Um, season's greetings. Yeah. Well, how about joyful season's greetings? Joyful season's greetings. Okay. So we've got our words. Um, I think, uh, we can add some bling. How about a bling to the front of each of those? Okay, so one, two, three. And these are stickers, so I'm using my um, sticker scissors. Sticker, sticker scissors. Okay, go ahead and take that off, put it on there. So using all the similar things, Okay, I just had an idea of what else I haven't. Okay, so now I can put these up here. Okay, and they can go off the edge. Okay, I like that. Okay, um, so this is going to be a belly band. Something's going to be able to come in inside here. 
And some of these I will leave open because they, um, you know, we've got 60. We have to make 60 things. What about some, some washi? What about washi? I was trying to find a way to add. I needed some green. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't think we need it that big. So let's go ahead and I'll rip it off and then I'll cut. I could rip it. We can rip it. Okay. Oh, did not. I didn't do a very good job, you guys. Okay, so that can go. That'll go somewhere else. This is going to go right along here. That's going to give us some green and some more sparkly. And it gives us our third, third thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and we are going to um, whoop, put glue on this so we can put it down. So joyful. Seasons. So this is exciting to be able to use anything in your stash. So I'm able to use these little, little pieces here. But I'm excited to show you another piece of the digital kit that I'm using. Okay, so there's that, and okay, if we come over here, so we'll be able to put something in there like that, okay? But that is, that is done. So using today's Freebie Friday, we went ahead and we made a double tuck. And so remember for this double tuck, we will come back in and we'll be able to put a card or tag there and a card or tag there and something in here as well. So all of those places are going to be able to get something. Plus we added the pocket and that has opened up a place to add something there. And then we can come over here and we can add something in here. Okay, so um, yeah, so there's that. Now we have this little goodie here that is started. And I think I want to, there's the little lace that I was looking for earlier. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to turn this into something. I'm going to add some lace on this one while I'm thinking. So we'll add some lace. Let's see how many embellishments we can get made today. Okay, so there's that. And I have... Again, from that sticker sheet, there's a book, there's a dolly, there's a drum. I like the little drum. Oh, you're not going to see it. We're not going to put it there. Let's put it down here just because otherwise we're going to lose it. Okay, and our drumsticks. Okay, so, so that is down there. So um, underneath this, okay, so this can flip. Um, what if we do like a little, like a little waterfall? That might be too small. Oh, we've got, we've got this. This is a Project Life card. That can also go. 
um, this could go down and be like a top tuck. I like the idea of a waterfall. these so this is in one of the um, it's either in 12 days of Christmas or the Holly and Joy um, digital so I will try and look that up you get over a hundred digitals it's kind of it gets hard to remember what you got okay so there we've got that little handkerchief I think we'll go ahead and put that down as one of the tiers of the waterfall. So this is an embellishment right here. And I think we're gonna want one more thing, but can we? Okay, if I put this down, I'm going to go ahead and put this down, but it's going to also be a pocket because I love pockets and I cannot lie. But it's just going to be a pocket. It's just going to be there. It's not going to, I'm not going to decorate it. It's the three items. Okay, so we'll go ahead, push that up, line it up. Okay, push it up, line it up, line it up, line it up, line it up. Okay, so there we've got a waterfall, 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 and a little pocket. Okay, and we've added some lace. We've got digitals. We've got a Project Life card, and I think we'll add my signature dot 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 and then some okay etc and let's see how about wish we're we're ripping so we'll put we'll do wish So you can make your um, embellishments and then add them in. I'm adding them to my pages. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Waterfall. Waterfall. Love it. Now, waterfall also kind of lends itself to possibly wanting a paper clip. So I have these tickets. Okay. They always make a fun paper clip. And of course, I have red. And I'm thinking I can do it like this and then, um, well, that you could do that and, and have something to go in the pocket. I think we'll go with this for our paper clip. Let's grab a paper clip. Okay, it's been a little while since we've done this. Um, we're gonna go ahead and on the back piece, I'm gonna do the key, the coupon on the back and I'm gonna put the longer piece on the back. I'm going to go ahead and actually, I want this to come in from the side. So let's see, keep this coupon is going to go like that. Okay, so that's over the keep this coupon and then the ticket is going to go up on top of that okay well the video cut off actually it was filming in slow motion so it had there's no space on my phone <laughs> 
so I finished up my paper clip because it needed to go in from this side to hold that waterfall. And I added this scrap of fabric to the top and made a banner paper clip. I added this trim and the believe and I stamped on it and that gave me a paper clip. So the other thing I showed in the video, but you missed it, um, I used Carrie's um, document. This is available in the, uh, the group for this challenge. And I went through and I marked off the things that I've used so far. So she's giving you um, the instructions uh, condensed and then places to mark off. Because remember, we have to use some things, we have to make some things, and we have to include some things. And then she gave us this chart that holds our 60 items. Okay, so I will show Darlene's document in another video. But I've gone ahead and I've put from my first video, Double Tuck Chimney Pocket uh, Time Card Journal Card. From my second one was the Envelope Page. Uh, small red tag, store-bought, small coin envelope tag, waterfall. Oh, no. Th those three. And then from this one was the waterfall, the paper clip, the belly band, the double tuck, and the pocket um, made out of fabric. Okay? She has a place for you to put the maid and the pics and the post. This is awesome. Uh, Darlene's is awesome, too. And so I will be showing you that. Um, they just go towards different personalities, and it's a great way to keep organized, especially this time where we're making 60 embellishments. They can be anything. So instead of having a checklist that you're checking off here, she has given us the this the, the, the boxes to put them so in. So I wanted to show you part of the Antique Christmas Paper Ornament Digital Kit. I have added the numbers 1 through 31, okay? And you've got them this way, and you also get them with the border, okay? So with the border, without the border, and then you also get December. So if you want to hang them together, December 31, uh, you can do that. And here, it, here are the, the numbers larger. And there's the December's larger. Oh, I guess I have them. I printed them twice. And there's the December um, just by itself. So if you wanted to um, print it on some other paper, maybe you don't like the black outline. Okay, so the other thing that we have that is really fun and okay, so the the other pages didn't, didn't print yet. Um, but I did some Christmas words. So you're going to see Christmas words in um, some of the embellishment pages, but I also did um, Christmas words here and then you get them smaller as well um here okay so you get them smaller and of course you then you can print this at five by seven and get them smaller and and so on and so on so the words are christmas mary believe joy noel tree ornaments stockings presents santa mrs claus naughty nice star Cozy Cocoa Baking Cookies, Gingerbread Eggnog, Candy Canes, Jingle Elf Wrapping, Jammies, uh, Traditions, Morning Eve. And then, like I said, you'll get more of these um, on some of the, um, the embellishment pages. Okay, so that just gives you a little bit more of a look at what is in the uh, paper Christmas ornament. So thank you, Carrie. I think that this is going to be a great way of keeping track. And like I said, I'll be showing Darlene's as well. So thank you all so much for being here. Remember, you can find today's freebie fry yay, fry yay, fry yay. Um, 
the digital, the one page digital in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. It'll be there in the file section, or you can grab the photo from there and print print from the photo there. Um, also in Buy Me a Coffee slash Dear Julie Julie, you can find it there and it will be free. There's also other digitals there that you can purchase that help to support the channel here. Um, and the other place is if you are a Patreon subscriber, a Dear Julie Julie Jewel over there, um, you already have this. It's sitting in there. It's been there since Thursday. So I hope uh, you find it and you get to use it now and maybe again later. So make sure that you share uh, what you make with it in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group and because we would love to see it. Okay, so how exciting. I got five more things done for my challenge. So that means I have 11 done. I have 49 to go. Woohoo! 11 done, 49 to go. Thank you again, Carrie. Thank you, Darlene. Thank you to all of my mods. Um, I really do appreciate you. I'm so glad that this channel can go on even when I'm not able to physically be here to monitor the channel. I want to take a minute also. Thank you so much to all of those that are answering the questions in the group. You guys, it's amazing that you step up and that you help our newbies. We have so many new people in the um the challenge group this month i am so excited uh, it is it is exciting it is it is exciting to see your questions because i know you're new and that is exciting okay we're going to be adding um in the group or and in the scrap all about it i'll be putting some of my older videos that help to explain some of the things that are required because we do require a tattoo this month <laughs> you don't have to go to the tattoo parlor. And it's not temporary tattoos. It is a way that I like to add stamping into my journal after my journal is um, done. And it is one of my favorite things to do. So, um, yeah. And I did a tattoo video last week. Um, antique ribbon. Antique ribbon tech closures. Antique ribbon closure technique. Um, it is... You don't need antique ribbon. You can use any ribbon or lace. And you're going to do one of the six techniques that I taught in several videos. So I'll put those videos up as well. Um, it, is an, it is beautiful. And I found these ideas <clears throat> in a box of cards that I bought at a sale. And all of the cards that were... 50 to 100 years old, not all of them, but a lot of them had used these different techniques. So I took them apart, figured out how they did it, and um, it's one of my favorite things to do. So thank you all so much for being here. The digital is available in the Etsy shop, and that is the antique ornaments or antique christmas paper ornaments digital kit it has pages and ephemera it is amazing i think you're gonna love it find something to celebrate every day have an amazing day and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye bye